okay guys today i'll be teaching you people how to test marks an image we just like to text marks and image that's what we'll be doing today so how are you going to do this now you import the image that you need you import it as background now you are not importing as normal image like if it's only text marking you want to do you will imp you just import the image as background then at the text mark region you just the space there you can just put up your right up but if it's not only text mark uh, like only the text marking like you have other design that you feel like you want to do and you don't want to use the background that the image have then that means you have to remove the background from the image and set up your own background but this one i'm teaching you i want to use the background that the image have i don't want to change the background so i will import the image with the background together then i'll just do the test marking that is just what i want to show you now so we'll just go ahead you can see me i'm already at my background setting and i'll just from gallery to import my image from gallery So you just import your image. Okay. This is the image I want to use. As you can see it, I just want to use this image. I need the background. I don't want to change the background. I don't want to change it. So this is the image I want to use. So I'll just okay. You can see. So the next thing you will do, you just keep this new test. This is test because you need to type something, so no need to delete it. So the next thing you do, you just pick up shape, square shape. Then you take it up. You adjust it the way you want the test mark to be. You can see me, I'm adjusting it. This is just shape. Let me make it big. I want the shapes to be big so that in case of any adjustment, I can just. So, you are seeing what I'm doing. So, once you fix the shape like this, you can now type what you want to test. Mark. You can just lock the shape so it will not move from there. <laughs> so, you just edit this test. So, you type what the right top you want to test mark like the name so i'll just type daniel and while typing you will not type straight forward like this that's not how you type you type once you type the first letter you enter type the second letter just like this so this is it daniel so you just capitalize everything and you OK it. So this is the test. So what you will just do, you go to your test editing and you increase the size. The size is already increased. Then the next thing you, ch you change the font. You change the font. Look for a font that is very bold like this. Uh -huh. This font is very bold. You will not use a light font, you use a bold font. You can see how it is now. This is very bold. So the next thing you do, you add stroke. And the stroke should be black. Then you increase it. So you can just in increase your stroke. The test is at the back of the shape, so I'll bring it to front. This is to front, and this is to back. So we bring it to front. You can see now, you can see it very well. 
So anyhow you want to do it, you can still change the stroke, but you can still make the stroke to be white and make the color to be black. Okay, let's do it that way. Let's let the color be black. Then we'll change the stroke to be white. So this is it. Once you just do like this, the next step is that you will merge, you merge the test and the shape. That's what you are going to do. Now these two things here, you merge it to become one. So you just go ahead, you know how to merge this icon here, this first icon here. You just click on it, then you, you highlight it too. Then you click on the middle icon here, you, can, you can't, the third one, you click on it. That is, are you sure you want to make this selected object? Okay. So that is just for you to merge the two tools. And you can see, both of them now are now one. One, two. So what you do, you cannot edit this test as test anymore. You go to objects to edit the two, to edit it as objects now. So you just go to erase, erase color. You can see this is erase color. Immediately you enable the erase color. The white part will go. But in the test marking we need the white part and we don't need this right up at this test so what you do if you check here the first thing you see here is plus and this after this one after this one that you're seeing here you see dropper this is like just like eye dropper you are seeing here so you just for it to pick color that is what the dropper is so you can use it to pick color so now we want to erase this black at uh, this black color in the name daniel when you erase the black color the white will come back you see that as we erase as we enable the erase the white went off that's the color it's erased but we don't want to erase the white we want to erase the the daniel so that it will be transparent so what you just do you pick the dropper you click on the dropper and this will show you just click on the black you can see the color have changed it's showing black now if you click here the color is not black but if you click on the right up on the black spot you see that it's black make sure it's showing black so they say please pick a color then you click good you can see this is just very simple you can see this is what we call test marking the Daniel now there is, is not transparent so you can just adjust adjust it now and just decide to adjust it the way you want it to be so this is what I mean by test marking this is just it so you can do it anyhow you want to do it so this is just what to know what you mean by test marking an image So this is all just very simple so you can just save save as project there you can as well save as image you know we have save as project but this one you don't need to come back and adjust anything this is just simple something just with just with one so for all because anything you want to adjust far once you have made those two the text and the shape there is nothing you can do there again except you start from beginning again because as i have saved now except you go back go back now it's only now you can edit it if you want to edit anything but once you just save and you close you cannot edit so just save as speed image so that's all our text matching of image thank you for watching this video please subscribe and like and also share the video.
please don't forget to subscribe and drop your comments at the comment section thank you so much god bless you